Hello and welcome, my name is Nilo, so this is episode 110 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. Well, we've been struggling, well, we've been working on trains, and as you can see here, they're starting to get back in action. Look how fast it's just cleaning up. And here as well, just a massive amount. What's really interesting is that copper is down here, but when it comes in, copper is taken all the way up north. The iron, however, is for some reason taken all the way down south. I need some safe crossings here, that's for sure. But you can see a lot here, and oh, let's not get in front of trains. The trains are just streaming through. Let's have a look at our inventory. 1.4 million copper ore. I don't have any iron ore, but I do have 550,000 iron, and it just keeps raking up. Let's get converted quite efficiently, quite fast, actually. And that's kind of the intention. I want this just running, running, running. As fast as we can possibly get, but I maybe should put in some kind of, uh, you know, <clears throat> some kind of limitation on how much it actually should be. Now it goes all the way up here, and I've marked them out with what each of these stations will take, and I think I've balanced it towards whatever the throughput will be. I think this is going to be fine. I don't see a problem. However, I it just struck me that I wanted one more train stop and with a special purpose and that's going to be an output station oh i actually messed something up here i've seen other people make output stations and i really haven't done anything in in that regard and i probably should be out, having an output station would be pretty damn neat because i'm gonna transition into a point where building outputs is going to be one of the primary things i do why do i have two thousand of that okay Oops, don't get run over. When it's green, you can run, but anything else, just stay where you are. Green, 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 you can run fast. Let's get out here and hook this one up. Ironically, I did all of this junk, and then in the end, I need one more. So where is it? It's here. And uh, no. That one. I do feel that I should probably place this one again. And then, you know what, I can also place it down here. That'll give me the full range. There we go. Now that works. Um, now it's a question of removing all of this junk here. Because that's not needed. Kind of redundant to have this one. And... Now... <clears throat> in order for us to build an outpost train, I think it's going to be the same size. It seems like a reasonable size, but it definitely does not involve all of this crap. Oh, probably does involve these. Good. So what is it I want in an outpost train? First of all, I want the outpost train here. And I'll write it with this text. This is called... I can't remember what it's called. It's called Text Plates. What a brilliant name. If I can count, it should be Outposts. And it has to start there. Hmm, that does not look right. Interesting, the, the blueprint, if you look at it, it has... The letters, but the letters don't really exist. But, uh, yeah, okay, that's that's the way. Good, so that's going to be my outpost train. And since I don't want to change it, I'm going to make it some color. That's, well, that's a nice color. There we go. <clears throat> now, what is it I want in an outpost train? I'm going to need a lot of, a lot of rails, I suppose. I would... Oh crap, now I'm getting it in. Uh, let's see. Should this one be dedicated to rails? I guess it could be. Look how fast I'm actually clicking. Usually I, it takes forever for me to click. And <clears throat> this one, what are you going to be reserved for? Let's make you reserved for some of these. Just gonna get a ton of this. This is this is a big base, so I don't really mind getting a lot of junk here. 
there. What else is necessary for Roboports? Yeah, let's just build Roboports the rest of the way. Might actually be more of these that... Oops. Like this. I think that's gonna be appropriate. What about this one? This will... I guess I need some power poles. I have no idea about the ratios. And I'm going to need some big power poles. And I'm going to need some lamps here. Good. And that's, that's only one, two, three, four. Go away. The last one will require <clears throat> some requested chests. That's 15 each. And some provider chests. Hold on. Should I do provider chests? Yeah, I think I should. Could also do uh, chests. I don't think that's a good idea. And a lot of these. It's not a lot. Hmm. I'm going to have less of these because they are only at the stations. Yep, anything that seems outrageously many here, probably. Those lights, because uh, they stack to the same amount, so why wouldn't I want the same? Let's see if there's anything I'm missing. Oh, right, that's a lot of things I'm missing here. Robots. Hmm, how many robots do I want? Might actually be this one. robots here yep anything else we need and I guess you're sitting there at home shouting at me and saying god damn it you need something oh yeah great how about some miners is this is an outpost oh why don't we hmm so I guess we're going to have to take some of these out because miners will be a lot of those. I am contemplating whether this actually needs to be there. Okay, miners, definitely miners and lots of those. Those are kind of what we need when we are doing mining. There we go. That's miners. This is stuff I can take out. That one in favor of some inserters. I don't need too many inserters. A lot of roboports. Probably too many roboports. Anything else on this one? Yeah, let's let's do that. So you are going to request. You know what? I don't bother with that. It's definitely not the easiest way of doing it. There we go. There. And I'm going to take that as blueprint. This. So the whole idea of this is to be able to take a train and go wherever. Oh, that was not good. Go wherever I like and build a couple of outposts, send the train back, and come back out again. There. Good. Um, how many should I have here? I should probably say these. Let me see. 200? It's not a lot, actually. One, two, that's two stacks. And what do we have here? No. Need that one to go. That one will then require robots. 200 robots, I guess. Go, go, go. That's that one. Next up, we have 
one, two, three, four items. So the top row here will be, no, 50 of those. And another one will be Robo Ports. Yeah, you know what? I'll take two of those and then take Robo Ports. There, we'll take 20. And the other two, those are the lights or whatever they're called. This one, I need 200. There. This one. Like this. <clears throat> it's important that I don't have anyone that shares the content. All right, next one. I have again four and they're split evenly. So this one will be, nope. Actually, need to remove it. If I if you accidentally request something to a chest and then have to change it afterwards, then it won't work. This will then take two hundred. It is going to be quite a decent amount over here. Well, we have the large power poles. Like this two hundred. One, two, three, and the other one, the last one, is lights. I think anything that stacks to to 50 is a good idea to have that. All right, so what are we having here? Um, we're gonna get 200 blue. That'll also be in this one. And all of these ones will be reds. And what's the last? All of these will be minus. Good, that's good. Then that means I can go back to this location. Let's have a look at the content of this one. This is good, this one, good. This one, yeah, it's working, it's working. This one, it's also getting there. Do I have anything else? No. This is the issue, I guess. And I guess I wanna try this and head out and see if what we can build for Outpost. Whoa, something is missing. Don't get run over. Is that good? Yes, it is. It's green everywhere. That's perfect. No, and I'm not using file, and that's actually quite intentional. I don't particularly like it. I think, I don't know, it, it kind of feels like cheating. I know, it's silly. I'm gonna go up to copper eight, and I'm gonna make a base up there. Hmm, I should probably get a literal fuck ton of Objects. Thank you for reminding me. And then this train is just not big enough. Anyway, we'll, we'll find out what our issue is. I will now go to copper eight. Are we done yet? Why are we not done yet? What are we missing? A ah, tiny bit out of that. And here, whatever. Not missing anything. Good. Here, this is the only thing we're missing. It's actually a bit strange why. That's so slow. I would expect that to actually keep up. The rest then are just filling up so the next time I come back I can easily fill up. I want a full stack. I want it all. Screw it. It doesn't matter. I'm not a man of principles. I am not a man of principles. Cargo inventory full. Whatever. Let's rush out. It will also... Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, stop, stop, stop. There. I forgot something. Don't get run over, please. Uh, here, that one. I have to reestablish this. This is in order for it to change lanes because I now have two lanes running in the same direction. This is a monodirectional rail. So I have two running in the same direction. See there, they can overtake on the outside. This one up here, the NW. 636 is the one that's in the way, the one that's positioned right there. So that means in 40 minutes it's going to run out. If it can continue to keep up the pace. See that? And there, from here on, it will now be 
multi-directional, duo-directional. I don't know what, what to call it. Do I miss any? No, I don't miss any uh, radars. Actually, radars, that's another thing I should put in. Just a few radars, actually. And I think we'll just stop it here and switch to manual. Whoa, what are you doing? Huh. That's actually a bit strange, isn't it? If I did that. Okay, I need to make sure that it remains green or it... I can move on the other side. Yes, this is fine. Good. And nothing about it being barely moving. This is all sound. Let's see what we have. Should we have some kind of thing here that works? Oh, I've actually deleted that. Because I thought in my naivete that I would never be using that anymore. Here we are. Not you. Not you. Tracks. Let's just place it. At the... Why can't I place it? Oh, whatever. It's a few things in the way. There. And I think that's going to be enough for this location over here. Now, one of the key parts is actually making sure that I have two RoboPort networks in this case. Because if I don't have two RoboPort networks, they're going to interlink, interbreed even. And it's just going to be a mess. So I do this. And I place it here. Let's see. Everything is covered. All the chests are covered. Good. Let's get back over and clear the space for the next iron base. I'm actually know one more thing as well that I'm forgetting. For this one. And that is uh, trains and wagons. They are not part of my flight train. Actually, I thought this would be a huge train and I did not need any of it. Now, go away and go away. Let's figure out what we need. The very first thing we need is a lot of lights and good. And let's find the corresponding blueprint that I need. I hope it's one of these, right? There it is. This is a, an odd shape. Nonetheless, it, it'll work. Ah, oh, this is the stuff I always do. I always try to run through it when I place it. I also have to do it like this. Yep. Works. Good. And... Okay, auto safe. We're gonna patiently wait for you. And a minuscule amount is remaining. Two left. That one and yes, there and there. Great. Cut out some of these surplus items. Here we go. I'm also I also want to make sure that I do not need to build so much when it comes to the train station. Oh that one. Why are they not? Oh they must have accidentally deleted it. So I'm gonna need a train station. How do I build like the most modular train station? I guess we can look for something. I don't know if this works. I think it doesn't. Let's take a look at it. Oh no, that doesn't work. That does not work. This is for oil and only for oil. What about this one? Is that in? Oh, it's even requesting some junk. Hmm. Well, that's highly impractical.
And you could also say this is a big one, so maybe I should actually actually have some more. This is going to be called iron seven. Oh, not like that. Iron seven. Great. But that's not gonna fly. What the hell am I doing? I should have seen that coming like miles away. One more time. What about up here? What if I build something like this? I'm, I'm just contemplating if this will be sufficiently modular that I can use it for anything. Something like this. And I can always break out of it. So let's take that. That blueprint is now gone. And instead I have this thingy without that chunk down here. There we go. And again, nope, I need I think I need a few more things to make it really viable. I need that thing. And I need that thing. It's called a radar, right? Use the names. That one is actually, that's a chain signal. Why would I want a chain signal there? That's just incorrect. Good, so this is what I need. This will be my new train station. None of this junk down here. And I'll give it a very, very easy signal. There we go, like that. And now I need to figure out how I actually get it in. Yep, that's one. And the other one, one, two, three, and that's the square. Again, easy, and I'll yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna put some more things into this train so to make it actually useful because it really isn't that useful now. Well, it is, but not as useful as I would like. There, there, there. Good. Now that's that's correct. I will then put in a couple. Yeah, I think it'll block itself when it because of this one. Always the wrong one. I can do that. Okay. So we're gonna build a nice little outpost here. Nice little iron outpost. I think it's important. Well, I don't know if it is, but. I think it's good to see that we are building this. What? It didn't work. Okay. And I'll put these signature markers on. And we have lights. We now have lights and all this needs is actually Requesting some iron. Well, that's a bit more. Iron. That's not iron. Iron ore. How much? Well, let's say 2000. Copy. Like that. And I will take a nice little blueprint. Switch it to the other side. And then we just double up the capacity. There we go. And nothing is waiting. I will now go grab some robots. One, two, three. That should be sufficient. Robot ports I do have. What about lights? This one is light. Okay. Let's have a look at the robot ports. Yeah, this is going to be tough because it's, it's going to be impossible to not overlap I 
that's the least I can overlap. Uh, it's actually, it is actually possible to not overlap there. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess I'm going to put a few more up here. And then some robo robots. Got it? Yes, we do. And then I'll take my two trains. One, two. And why do I not have any coal? Well, I do have this. So one, two, three. One, two, three. That is now going to iron. That is not being called iron seven yet. It will be now iron seven. It will be going to iron seven until inventory is full. Go. And then you'll go back to main iron until inventory empty. Great. And I'll do one more. One, two. This is such a big one that it definitely deserves. Hmm. Deserves two trains. One, two, three, four. Oh, can I click it? I don't think, no, I couldn't. Anyway, iron until inventory full, go, plus main iron until inventory empty. Excellent. Let's see how fast this loads. And of course, it's always like the lower one that's not getting there. This one, slow. Somehow this is just better. And at this point, I'm not putting any, uh, any beacons or anything like that. Well, that beacons, but modules on those. Just don't feel like it's worth it. And you are going to go back to your outpost. Where the hell? Oh, it's that one. Go. Pretty sure that's the one. Let's get our this train filled up. 1.6. You gotta be kidding me. Go. And then back with it. Ah, we're stuck because of that one. We'll just build another one. You're going through and we'll just take the ride home so we can enjoy the ride. Um, I think I need to do some tweaking on the actual uh, train here because I'm not too happy about it. We are getting, whoa, all right. I saw something I did not like and we're just gonna fix that even though our time is up. Maybe I should just ignore it and pretend that there are never any problems in the space. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ugh. Yeah, I cleaned this up by putting this in. And in order to fix it, I think it's important that you can go as close as possible so that you are at least ready for it. And that means you, I don't think you can get all the way in, can you? Not really. No, not quite. What about this one? Go. Is it because these are still requesting? Oh yeah, they are. Definitely not. Yeah, I'll just do this. And all the copper, the one copper I picked up. Good. Now this is no more, no longer jamming. And I'll try to see if I can hitch a ride on this train. Go. This is just hopeless. Not very big amounts. There. Anything else? Yes. There. Good. Now we'll take this train back home. That's always the case. That some parts will be uh, hooked up more efficiently than others. But now the more important thing is that the trains are running and they're running quite smoothly. Quite smoothly, I mean not flawlessly, but quite smoothly. I do not have stackers at each train stop, so in that case, oh, I love this. I love the fact that I can have two running. Um, I do not have trackers at each of the train stops, and because I do not have stackers, they can jam the belt if there are three or three trains for one station, and they all happen to go there at the same time, or basically if one of them is sufficiently slow. Now look at this. I go slightly into this area, and they freak out. It's my copper input and we'll just round off by seeing the flurry of activity as the copper is unloaded. Look at that. 
here and robots you're going to be busy and let's look at our logistics network it's 1.6 million copper so i think the copper is pretty much under control and we'll be working now on the iron from there on stone is also actually under control and that means we can now start working on our landfill we have 20,000 landfill and that's one of the bottlenecks so i'm gonna hurry up and wrap up and we'll be back next time so thank you very much for joining and i'll see you next time cheers bye